Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is June the 22nd, 2022. We're going to talk about DraftKings today. And yeah, the market has dropped because of recession fears. Who knows why, you know, DraftKings is really falling in price. The, the true gist as to why the market is falling in DraftKings is because people are selling. And nobody's finding the prices to which the prices are falling to as attractive to come in and buy it. I wanted to come in and talk to you all today on DraftKings because I'm seeing some things change on the chart that will probably substantiate that the market moving up in price. So welcome everyone to my channel. This is HFN, also known as Chiefy News. I do price predictions. Let me zoom in and you guys can see that I already got one on the chart, right? I was playing some weakness into the market in DraftKings. And you all can tell that there was a couple of trading days to which the market came into the price target area. But now I want to show you all what's next. So make sure you hit the like button. Instead of being also subscribe here to my channel, tap that bell notification as well because I, I truly want to make sure that each and every one of you are aware of what I'm seeing on the chart, right? It's kind of like a forecast. I'm trying to get y'all prepared for what's to come next before the market actually moves. This is how we're able to win and be more profitable than losing. And at best, you don't have to worry about guessing. Right, these technical indicators that so many people utilize on their price charts. You got so many people got you all looking at a company's earnings, their books, how much money they're bringing in. A lot of, you know, microeconomic material and data. It it continue to boss the mind. I don't do that. I, I look at the chart, and I, I suggest you all do the same thing too. So check this out. I did a video in DraftKings on uh, the 14th of June. Right, so not that long ago. You guys can see it right here. Okay. I was playing the weakness into the market of DraftKings and the market has dipped, right? We've seen price in DraftKings fall. The next day, matter of fact, the day that I did the video, the market was coming down. Okay, cool. We also had another opportunity in DraftKings right there on the 16th. So we've had opportunity to come in and nibble, okay, off some bag, off some profitability. And I told you it wasn't going to be much. Right. I told you, you know, we're not going to be massively bearish. We, we've suspected that we did come to a very substantial area of support to which the buyers were buying up this stock. And it's right there around ten dollars. Now, on these certain days, the market did not fall exactly to ten dollars. I get it. I get it. But we did have opportunity to come in and nibble, maybe around five percent. If you haven't done that and you were to get out on the close of yesterday, then, yeah, you'll be down ten percent. Okay, 10 and a quarter, which may not be bad if we're continuing to look for the stock to go up. I know so many people are scared. I know the market, you know, mainstream media, social media, they're all getting me all scared because of these stocks going down in price. But I want you all to understand that when the market's about to flip, money moves first. OK, it always goes first before any type of major news event, any type of uh, major catalyst for any particular type of stock. The money always goes first. That is why I pay attention to the price chart. And I want to show you all this in DraftKings. So let me go ahead and cut this out. Right now, let me give you the play on these days right here. OK, I want to show you what all of this means. OK, now, first. The market in DraftKings signified that it was going to go down on the 13th of June. Now, when you see this type of price bar, your expectation is for a price to do just that. The next day, you expect it to go down. So on the 14th of June, price in DraftKings did go down, but it ended up closing higher than the previous day's close. So that means that buyers came into the market on the 14th. What about this day? the 16th yeah that's another indication that the market is weak but you know what price didn't fall the next day the expectation is for price to fall but it didn't it went up this looks identical okay let me show you why this is identical the last five days okay wait six days the last six days in DraftKings is identical take a look at this now, this is stuff that fundamental analysis can't get you. This is information that the market cannot give you. OK, so if I were to draw a line, right? Right in between these three, 
three day price bars. You guys see this, right? I want to show it to you. It's pretty much identical. Like, look at that. Can not any, no other person sees this? We saw the 13th and the 16th price bar is identical. Then we have the 14th and the 17th price bar, pretty much identical. And then we have the 15th and the 21st price bar, pretty much identical. It's not by coincidence. Now, I like the fact that um, DraftKings has maintained $10 as support, right? We've seen it twice. We've seen it happen here during this time frame, just like we did in the beginning of May. The market bounced off of $10.50 or $10. Pretty much taking this all the way back here to 2020 to where DraftKings was holding $10 as support. And we're still doing it to this day, okay? So seeing that we're noticing how markets being very reluctant into falling below $10, we got to take note of these things. And looking at this on a two day chart right here, we've still seen the market and DraftKings continue to fall, but it didn't. Now there's still some selling going on, but it's good to say that the market buyers are definitely here buying up DraftKings on whoever is selling their stock. There's enough demand here to buy up whoever is selling right now. So the only hurdle that is in the way of the buyers is the fact that it needs to break this trend line, this downtrend that we're been in. Are we about to do that now? Because if so, we need to get in position and ride prices higher. What do you think? Because I do suspect that price is trying to go up in DraftKings. I do suspect that. Okay. Now, am I going to come out and say, you know, look for the price to hit $50? No. No, I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to be reasonable in where I suspect price is going to go. And the first problem we're already seeing, I would say the first issue is going to be around $13. Second is 15. Okay, that's the second restriction area. So we got one restriction area at 13. The next restriction area is around $15. All right. So let me go ahead and put this on the chart uh, real quick. I'm going to go ahead and play some strength here into the market. So now we already know it's going to be contingent on price staying above 1050 even ten dollars right that's it my first price target i'm already letting you all know it's going to be around 13. yeah that's that's going to be an issue for the market buyers to lift price in DraftKings. okay second price target it's going to be up there around 15. $14.66 in and around there. Okay. Now, it might take a while because it takes the market longer to go up than it does to go down. Right? I'm going to keep this downtrend line here just a little while longer, but it looks as if the market at DraftKings is going to begin a consolidation of trading range. It looks like it's going to trade sideways from like here. To ten dollars, like it's gonna, it look like it's gonna try to do this, just bounce. Okay, that's my expectations, really. But I want us to break this downtrend line first, because if we don't break this downtrend line, then I know that the, us breaking ten dollars lower is increasing. All right, so keep your eyes open on that too. All right, so I'm done. Go ahead and give me your price prediction, your price target in the market for DraftKings. Let me know what do y'all think the market is headed. Make sure you maintain profitability, and as always. Trade.